In this video, we are going to explore the concept of multiverse of the physicist David Deutsch. The multiverse sounds like science fiction, but it is not. It is real science, and we'll see why in this video. David Deutsch believes that science should explain how reality is, not just predicting the outcomes of experiences. The multiverse describes the reality behind quantum physics, which is the deepest explanation known to science. It violates many assumptions of common sense and of previous science. And yet, this seemingly alien territory is a reality of which we and everything we experience are part. So let's first consider the concept of randomness. A phenomenon could appear unpredictable to observers for one or more of three reasons. The first is that it is affected by some fundamentally random variable. However, there are no such variables in real physics. Even for a coin flip or a dice throw, if you knew exactly the forces applied to it, according to laws of physics, you would know exactly the outcome. The second reason, which is at least partly responsible for most everyday unpredictability, is that the factors affecting the phenomenon, though deterministic, are either unknown or too complex to take account of. For instance, whether you get hired or not depends on the particular set of preferences of your interviewer, which are unknown to you. So the decision might seem random to you, but if you knew his criterions and idiosyncrasies, it will be deterministic. The third reason explaining randomness is the multiverse theory of quantum physics. But before introducing it, let's first consider an experiment. Quantum interference phenomena constitute our main evidence of the existence of the multiverse and of what its laws are. We are going to consider an optics experiment. The key device here is a semi-silver mirror. When a photon strikes such a mirror, it bounces off half of the time in the direction Y and passes straight through in the other half in the direction X. However, we already removed the possibility of fundamentally random variables previously since there are no such variables in real physics. In the multiverse theory, we say that it bounces off in half the universes and passes straight through in the other half universes. For now, it seems unnecessary to introduce this concept of universes, but bear with me, since we haven't gotten into the experiment yet. The experiment is known as a mach zender interferometer in which a photon is sent through a particular setup of two semi-silver mirrors and two ordinary mirrors as here. The photon comes in through the first semi-silver mirror. It sometimes goes in the direction X and sometimes goes in the direction Y with even probabilities. The ordinary mirrors are merely there to steer the photon from the first to the second semi-silver mirror. If the photon took only one pass, it seems logical that after the second semi-silver mirror, the photon would sometimes be in direction X and sometimes in direction Y. The surprising result is that the photon, when it strikes the second semi-silver mirror, always emerges in the direction X. If a photon is introduced traveling rightwards x after the first mirror instead of before as shown, then it appears to emerge randomly rightwards or downwards from the last mirror. The same is true of a photon introduced traveling downwards after the first mirror. By doing the experiment repeatedly with and without detectors on the pass, one can verify that only one photon is ever present because only one of those detectors is ever observed to fire during such an experiment. What it means is that the intermediate histories X and Y both contribute to the deterministic final outcome X. Both are happening at the intermediate time. The history in my universe is interacting with the history in the other universe to give rise to interference. 
It is as if the photon in my current universe was interacting with a shadow photon in a parallel universe. But something not real will not have any effect on the result of the experiment. So it must be real. There must be at least another universe beside ours where that shadow photon lives. In fact, David Deutsch states that there are uncountably infinite parallel universes. Let's give some precisions on the concept of multiverse. Imagine uncountably infinite universes identical in every respect to the one you're living in, including the same laws of physics. We call them fungible. A good example of fungibility is money. When you take a dollar from your bank account, you do not know and actually do not care to know whether it's the first dollar you deposited in your bank account, the last dollar, or any combination in between. So let's come back to the photon striking the semi-silvered mirror. Before the photon strikes the semi-silvered mirror, the universe you're in among the collection of fungible universes is similar to that dollar you're taking out of your bank account. It could be any one of them. After the photon strikes, in half the universes it goes in direction X, in the other half it goes in direction Y. We say that a split occurs and that histories differentiate. So the apparent random path of the photon after the semi-silver mirror in our current universe is deterministic in the multiverse as a whole. Interference happens when histories withjoin, i.e. when parallel universes influence each other. In the previous experiment, we saw that the X and Y histories recombine to form the X direction after the last semi-silver mirror. To conclude, I thought at first that the multiverse theory was just an ingenious way of getting around intrinsic randomness through determinism in fungible universes. But the interference experiment shows that it is much more than that since it allows to take into account interference, which is when different histories rejoin. For sure, the multiverse is counterintuitive, but it does not mean that it is false. And I wonder, from a philosophical point of view, what does it mean for me that there are parallel universes with different versions of myself? Does it mean that there already exists a real universe where a different version of me already achieved all my current dreams and goals not limited by the laws of physics? Is it even possible to see those universes or will they forever be out of reach? Will the multiverse theory be refuted in the future? Many questions are popping in my mind and I'm sure many questions are popping in yours too for the multiverse theory is truly fascinating.